I talked to Coach Rick Black about tonight's contest. Well, Coach, uh, tonight you're going to be taking on St. Aloysius out of Vicksburg. We've tried to match up our personnel, we think, with them. We think we'll primarily go with the same thing we've been doing all season. We've been successful in this. We think the winning tradition of the town, we think the winning tradition of the players, that's what makes uh, Kaisersko Whippets a winning football team. Now, This is what football's about. You're about to have fun. Yes. You're about to have fun. You're about to turn loose. You're about to show people what you can do. Now, if I try to be involved, a bad play, forget it. A good play, forget it. Let's move forward. Let's have the best time of playing football we've had this year. Let's do it better than anybody else has done. And let's have a good time. Let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this team. We thank you for Friday again. We thank you for football. Thank you for this opportunity to play this sport. Watch over us through this game. And Lord, we always give you the praise. And it's your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Wow! Let's go, baby. Be ready. Be ready. Outside kick. Line drive kicked at you. Right. Secure the ball. Secure the ball. Don't let the ball take you. You go get the football. Secure the ball. And let's go. Right let's here. Let's go, baby. Gun right. He got it. He got it. He got it. Hey. Hey. My father was a great influence, probably the greatest influence in my life, in my early development, but he thought it was good that we played. His vision of football was high school football. Started about the seventh grade playing, uh, worked my way to quarterback in eighth grade. From that time on, I played quarterback through the rest of my uh, football career. My senior year was one of the best seasons we ever had at Ackerman, the first time we won a championship in 20 years. always kind of been a tough league, but you had guys like Bull Sullivan coaching. Everybody wanted to be kind of like Bull, see how tough they could be and how tough they could make the players. So when we got to that intense uh, arena at Holmes, that was quite an adjustment for me. Going through that, probably the best two years of education that I had was, was going through that, developing those two years as a much stronger person. So you graduate from Mississippi State and you head back to Ackerman and you're hired as the assistant football coach and the head track coach. Oh and yes. Did you have a track yet? Nope. <laughs> nope, still don't have one. I enjoyed coaching at Ackerman, but I felt like that really to develop my skills and develop who I was, I was gonna have to move from there. We're doing a good job of coaching, but I didn't know we had that many good players. First three years as, as a coaching staff, we only lost four games. What was your biggest win there? In uh, 1977, we played St. Aloysius. They were 11 and 0, we were 11 and 0. But it was a good game, we won that game, I think 21 to, to three. Won uh, 12 games, 12 and 0 that year.
In 1980, you decided to make a change. Tupelo came calling. It was a difficult move for us. It really was a difficult move. I remember speaking at one of the club. Uh, they were introducing me as having a 49 and six record. Then I heard somebody in the gallery say, we're gonna help him even that up. Tupelo's job was a very satisfying job because of the progress we made in that program, going from that where it wasn't that important to where people were fighting over season tickets and their divorce proceedings. First thing I get a call from Jack Sherrill, say when not you come down to interview, and I said, sure you do, who is this? And then he offers me the job, said I'm gonna give you a few days to think about it, and I'm gonna call you back. And he's giving me some time to think about it. I read on one of these little biblical calendars that's got prayers and quotes on there, and it says you can't experience new oceans if you don't get off the beach. It was quite an adjustment for us, really, just like you're talking about, from being a guy that makes all of the decisions and until a guy that listens to all the decisions being made. We had a great coaching staff there that first year. A lot of good things happened at Mississippi State for us, and, and I really enjoyed coaching. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Solomon Institute here in Clinton, Louisiana, where the Jackson Prep Patriots open the 1997 football team under the new head football coach, Ricky Bosley, in the slot. Hand off to Brazier, off left tackle. I beg your pardon, Grant Farrell kept it. Grant Farrell made go. He's at the 30. Go to 20. Go to, he knocked. It was a very exciting time for us to win that first game, and, and then we kind of on our way for the season. I've always thought when I was in the public school and coaching, and even when I got in the private school, I said, why don't we play them? So we, we scheduled George County. Usher rolling his five four goal. He is hit, and the ball is fumbled at the 37 yard line. Do the Patriots have it? Yes, they do. It's Jackson Cup football. Addison wants to throw. Going to the end zone near side. It is caught for a touchdown. It goes to Kenny Griffin. We lost that game, but that was a lot, a lot of publicity for us and a lot of very positive publicity for the state of Mississippi. But I think the biggest compliment our players get is when people watch our film and when they watch us in person, they say, those guys play so hard. And I think that's the greatest compliment you could give any player is that people recognize that how hard you're playing. And I know when we play Pearl, the Lanier coach could come and he said, how can you get you guys to play that hard? I said, it's, it's just, that's their quality. I mean, that's the traits that they have and they bring that to the game. You had a Bassfield team come in here that had a long winning streak. I think that one probably caught the attention and imagination of more coaches in the state of Mississippi and probably the media at that time. Expect a four quarter absolute four. coming back this past year, winning that game at PCS. Everything was lined up for them, and, and that's what I congratulate our players for, everything back at their home, playing on their grass, a natural surface. Uh, they've got everybody no, and no injury problem. Somebody's gotta make a play. Hey! Hey, on that money, hey, listen, if we run money X, yeah, yeah. if we run that money X, make a play! Take it up in there a little bit tighter, okay? And, uh, Everything is in their favor with the largest crowd they probably have ever had. The first time they've ever been undefeated. Everything lined up for them, except uh, a prep team that wasn't going to be denied. And that's that's what won the game. It's a prep team that just was not going to be denied that night and, and played that way. It was, it was a full team effort. To me, Sports should not be in any high school environment if it's not part of the educational process. And the educational process is teaching more than just academics. It's teaching that well-rounded, the whole student, and what they can do other than just the academic part of the, of the world. I was on the committee that you got hired uh, out here in 1997. You had some good people. Uh, 
you know, Ken Toler and George May were on that as well, and we just kind of looked at each other like, why are we going to do anything else here? <laughs> you know, where, where else we need to go? Hey, uh, you know, we're in, uh, what, 21st year now of, uh, of this deal, and I'd say that it's worked out pretty good, so I guess we made the right decision. I feel like I made the right decision, and, and I'm, I'm really proud that uh, the committee chose me too, but it, I think it's been good for both of us. It's been a pleasure for Linda and I to be in the Jackson Prep community for 20 years. She's never missed a football game, which is just unbelievable to think how many games she's been to. That's not talking about the game that I've been a head coach. That was six years at Mississippi State, never missed a game. Uh, four years as assistant coach, 10 years assistant coach, and the other years a head coach. So uh, that's, I think that's quite an amazing accomplishment. 220 wins and 37 losses here at Jackson Prep win percentage of 85.6. That's got to make you feel like you're doing something right. Well, that is very good. And it's a, it's a given that you've got to have players to do that. Has it the coach there? Has it to coach those guys? I said it's probably the hardest working group of guys percentage-wise. Billy Graham said that one coach will influence more people in a year than the average person will in a lifetime. You can look at, at someone like Coach Black and the people that he's directly coached and influenced. I'm just so thankful uh, for coaches that are like Coach Black. I don't think I would have been able to grow as quickly uh, in my role as athletic director and assistant coach for that matter uh, if I didn't have Ricky Black on this campus uh, to lean on and to turn to and ask questions. I do know that I wouldn't be near the employee here uh, today or the person uh, if I didn't have the honor of working with Coach Black for, for these past 20 years. Two thousand two season, and that's a tough season for you. You lost your dad. It was a tough season. Um, kind of spot in your your heart and your memories will never be filled with anything else. So, but I know he always enjoys me coaching high school football, so I don't have to worry about what I'm doing. <laughs>